since I'm a top-down thinker, it occurred to me that if I wanted to change, if I wanted to make change, I wanted to have the vote. I wanted to vote for what could happen to me and I wanted to have protections. And I decided that that would be my mission. And I guess I suspected, but it certainly turned out that that's been the mission of my life. Oh, I'll tell you about this one with Susan B. Anthony. She came to me one day and said, Carrie, we're going to be having the convention in Atlanta, first time out of Washington, DC. And I just want to tell you that we are traveling through the South. I want to see what's going on down there and you are coming with me. Well, fine, that's just fine, I'm thrilled. So we made our way through Tennessee, Alabama, Louisiana, Kentucky, stopping in small church groups and neighborhood picnics and at all kinds of gatherings. She would stand up at these meetings and she'd say, and now, ladies, we're working, but we've got to work harder. We are not going to lose. It is impossible, she would say those things. Then she would say, and you men, you men, you are not supporting us in the ways that we need support. Now you have to come on board and, and do something. And then she would sit down and look at me. And I would have to stand up and say, what an honor it is tonight to be here with all of you men and women and thank you for the work you have been doing and how can we not win the vote for women with all the support that you are giving us and and that sort of thing it was really important to smooth things over <laughs> but you know you never wondered what susan b anthony was thinking in 1900 as i said susan b anthony decided to retire she was, you know, in her 70s by now. And she came to me one day and said, Carrie, I picked you as my, my hand-picked successor, and I want to let everybody know that it's my intention that, to see you win. Well, I was amazed. Me, her hand-picked successor, my goodness. And the way she said it, that I could hardly be surprised when I won. <laughs> but when people said, congratulations, Carrie, for being Susan B. Anthony's successor, I would say, just stop right there. I'm pleased to be elected, but Susan B. Anthony will never have a successor. I did not feel that I was drawn to chain myself to the gates at the White House. But Alice Paul had now, and Lucy Byrne, stepped away from our organization, NAUSA, which is my nickname for it. Uh, and they started their own much smaller group, the National Women's Party, and a much more militant approach toward getting the vote. Now, as I've told you, I'm a very pragmatic person. I am a top-down thinker, and I believe in strategy, thinking through your tactics, fighting this battle for it is a battle in a way that was not the same way that the National Women's Party envisioned it. But the fact of the matter is, any big overarching organizational move to make change is going to need a lot of approaches. You can't just keep doing it one way because you don't know what is going to speak to someone and win them over. 